Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are now at the end of this One Book July challenge. July has come, July has gone. We are now at the end of a 30 plus day challenge. Here is my review and my feedback of the decisions I made for the month of July. So those of you who have watched know that I decided to go to a personal size planner, which is what you see here, for the month of July. Yes, it was a challenge for me going this small and staying in this size consistently for 30 plus days. I have learned that yes, you can do this. Yes, I can change to this particular size. Will I try again? Possibly. Am I only going to be in the personal size going forward in the future? Doubt it. Yes, I do like the personal size. Yes, I can see how people can enjoy the personal size, but I like to write a little bit larger. So, and plus some other things I have decided that yes, I am gonna continue to do the personal size. I am gonna have this in my purse, in my bag, whatever I'm carrying for that particular day. But I'm also going to have other types of planners or journals as well. So in my personal planner, I have stuck pretty much with the outlet, uh, outlet, the layouts that I have made in here. But I have definitely noticed that it is getting rather thick on these rings. These rings were probably made for uh, the thinner paper that the Filofax come with. I don't know if it was really ideally made for adding all the things that I have added in here. But I have added, you know, quite a few things. So just to review my dashboards for monthly weekly daily monthly all it has is the 12 months weekly the only thing that I have been tracking was the weeks for the month of July and daily is where I was actually tracking three different things so one is the memory keeping for what happened for the day two is my uh, Llamas lettering challenge that I did for my handwriting um, and for the month of July the challenge was the Lion King and then three I was also tracking the book that I had read for the month so I think I did pretty good it held out pretty well uh, for the purpose of the one book July challenge here is the last official week in the month just so you can see how it turns out the last week is shark week yes this week um is the marking of the last official end of the month so we have our last few days of the month of july you see them there on the left and then of course we start our new month on the right hand side um this design did take uh quite a bit of time for me to do but I think it was well worth it. Um, I'm ideally a horizontal planner, but I can do vertical if I need to, but I prefer to do horizontal uh, planning. That's my, that's just my style. So this is our last official week for the month of July. I wanna thank everyone who also partic participated in the one book challenge for this July, 2019. How did it go for you? Were you able to successfully stay in whatever um, design, whatever planner, whatever journal that you went for for the month? Um, did you have to make some changes? Did you have to make some upgrades? Did you downgrade possibly? How was your challenge for the uh, one book? Mine went pretty good. I was able to finish reading my book. I was able to do my planning inside of this uh, personal rings, file facts. And I still stuck with my kits, which is the Happy Scrappy Kits, and I still use my Simply Gilded Washi. These stickers I actually got from Hobby Lobby for the strict purpose of Shark Week. So I think I did pretty good. So tell me how you did. 
Thank you for watching. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you uh, leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And on that note, I want you to have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye.